Hello guys, welcome to another Slap Battles video. So today, we will be checking the new guide boss update with new changes, new gloves and more, along with hive and wrench glove which I forgot to make. So enjoy! First hive glove, the slap requirement and since some already new, I will review it instead for new players. So this glove is a beehive, that has bees and honey. Every time you slap a person, they get covered in honey. And when they step on honey on the ground, they get slowed. Upon pressing in, bees will spawn and want to slap. Bees will attack you, giving you an ability to slap and move randomly. But there is huge con. At for slapping someone, the hive will fall apart. Also, giving you the inability to slap, which is bad. And since you can't defend yourself, you'll end up dying. Next is wrench, which is a badge requirement. Here's the glove and badge name. In order to get, you must equip engineer glove and get a Thor glove user to use their ability to electrify you. After that, spawn your sentry and slap it whilst electrified.to get the badge and glove. Upon slapping someone with wrench glove, you will reposition to how they walk. He can move like that for a temperate time. Again, it has a con where you must slap them twice, because after repositioning to how they walk, then after, they get knocked back after getting slapped. It's also very annoying in my opinion, due the hitbox of that glove that you are limited to do your movement to, eliminate other players at that state. And also if you use it, since you have to slap twice, which is bad in some situations like earlier. Both gloves are not bad, it's just the cons that ruin it. update. Right off the bat, we see new UI in the game. And three new gloves, two obtained while one delayed for next week. And new crates, I think, four is for gloves. They cost null gems. In order to get them, you must participate dot in the slap battle slap competition, which is held every 15 minutes. Now, to get the gloves. I played with my subscribers on my live, so shout out to them. As you are in the hatch, turn left and you'll see a teleporter.tl guide box fight. Now, we all tried this, and throughout the failed attempts, I had fun still, but this is not going to be easy, especially for people who casually suck at obbies. Trust me, it's hard. So let's see the stages with other players. These clips are all my failed attempts, but I will show what I know throughout the experience. Once you are here, find a lever where it randomly spawns, but usually spawns behind the walls or pillars. After that, start running immediately down. I recommend having your friends go to the front, while someone pulls the lever, and don't worry, it will stop once the door is closed. Now go left or right, I choose right. Here is a obby which you must climb while avoiding the golem. Just note, the golem will target the first person it sees. After that, wait for all teammates to come up, then go. This is a banana peel, which of course, makes you slip and fall. Thankfully, they deal more damage, but as a threat to the next obby we are going to see. To be honest, these obbies are hard, so I recommend training before doing this because one or more mistakes will cost you dearly. Next is another obby stage where if you fall, angry speeves start chasing you till they get you 
and there is no ladder and dead ends exist, so if you fall, it's over. But at the same time, you have the option to go left, middle or right. So it depends, but it is difficult. And they are fast too. Now, if you choose left, you have to do a laser obby. Here is how it looks like. Be very careful to not touch a single laser, otherwise, tracks will target you and then kill you. They each do one damage, but getting comboed like this is enough. If you choose right, there will be a train stage. Do not get hit by the train as it insta-kills. Once you touch grey, immediately back off. Also, don't play with laggers that may mess you up a lot, especially in this stage. and choosing the middle leads you to the fire gauntlet. It requires timing for this stage. I also recommend putting your graphics up. I died anyways because I suck. This potato area is the next stage. Once here, slap this dude, it will teleport, then slap you and give you a hot potato. I recommend slapping the potato dude when the time is 5 seconds or hour, and also don't mess up like I just did. But once successful, the gates will open to the next stage. Also, quick tip, solo is possible, but I recommend going with pro friends. Try not to go with randoms, you need experienced players. They will know better than you and assist you. There is a few glitches even at the guide boss, but here is an example. I will not show the full thing to prevent y'all from abusing this glitch. Don't do it, and hacking too as well, don't. Anyways, let's go to the maze. If you go that way, you will see a Among Us car to use. It is hard to control, and since I am on mobile, it's worse. Follow to where I go. Once you see this sign, you are here and almost to the guide boss fight. There is an extra heart and health regeneration, so follow to where I go. This place is good to look at on PC, not crappy mobile graphics. But anyways, here's the heart.
And here, behind the cabin, there is health regeneration, called Cube of Life. After this, go to the cabin and press the lever and good luck. Light containment zone is locked down and ready for decontamination. The removal of organic substances has now begun. This is the first phase. Clones will spawn, so slap them off, don't let them touch you. Then walls will spawn trying to push you out, avoid them. Next are tracks which will target you, but are also very important as these damage the boss upon slapping the tracks. Slap it to damage the boss and avoid them. Next are Meteors, avoid them. Next is Winds, don't jump and move from the opposite direction it faces. After that, Kraken spawn, stay away from them and watch out to how they spawn. Then a Golem spawns in solo, you have to be very careful to slap them and quickly. But in squads, your teammates must slap it while it targets you. After that, it will start all over since it is a loop. There are a total of seven obstacles, with tracks being the important part to damage the boss and almost all does one damage or costs one harder hit. But I, like I said here, these are failed attempts. So yeah, I didn't last long till phase two and gave up. So here is a Gempler of phase two. In phase two, you get to face against Guide himself. You must slap him and don't let him slap you if he deals one damage or heart. Guide also teleports behind you and copy your movement, so be careful. And also, avoid the meteors around you. If you do all of this carefully, you'll defeat him easy. Now, after you defeated Guide, this cutscene will show. According to what the dude is saying to his friend, his friend has to say no for Hunter Glove. So meaning, if you save him, you'll get Relude Glove, while saying no gives you Hunter Glove along with Badge too. So that's how you get both gloves. Now, that's all for the video. Wait. Um, who was that? It's me, the narrator. I don't think I remember you. I know, but you forgot about the left side at the start of the road to guide boss. And also there is a badge for Avatar Glove. The unreleased glove called Na I'd Win. Oh yeah, I forgot. Now for the badge, you need to defeat Guide with. No extra heart. No health regeneration. No friends. And this as well, if you have any. Doing all this while defeating the guide boss will get you the badge and also you'll get to equip it next week upon its arrival. And for the left side from the start, after Terry Chase, well, it is a trap. And also, a short out to the Spivobby. I'm too lazy to edit the rest, so find out yourself, sorry. Goodbye guys, hope you learned how to get the badge. And hopefully when I get the gloves, I will showcase it.